Xbox Cloud Gaming has made a huge improvement in the way it's streaming and with huge titles like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 now being available on the service, more people are wanting to get in and play on the Steam Deck, especially now you can stream a whole bunch of your own titles such as Cyberpunk 2077 and a whole load more on its way. So how do we get this up and running on the Steam Deck? It's quite simple. I will give you a link to a text guide, which is the official support, which is not the easiest to follow, but make sure you follow this guide and it will be much easier. First of all, you want to go into Steam Deck desktop mode, which is from the power menu. If you're in game mode, open the Discover Center, which is down in the bottom left. If it's not there, you can have a look in at the start menu and you want to search for Edge here and download Microsoft Edge. Now you can do this with Chrome, but actually the quality and the functionality is working a lot better with Microsoft Edge, which is understandable given it's a Microsoft product. So do bear in mind if some of this functionality doesn't work in Chrome, switch over to Microsoft Edge. Once this is downloaded, you want to go back to that start menu, find Microsoft Edge in the internet section, right click it and say add to Steam. Now we want to go over to the guide, make sure this is the command in the Xbox cloud setup, which has the kiosk mode section. And then we want to open the Steam library, find Microsoft Edge and go into the properties of this. And then under the launch option, scroll all the way to the right. Then you want to paste this command in just before the quotation marks and the at at you. But make sure that there is a space before and after the quotation marks for the play and the at at uu, otherwise it will not run. So very easy not to have that space in there. So just double check that that's there. And same with the beginning of the line as well. Once you've done that, you also need to enter a console command. From the guide, this is actually under step nine, but I find it easier to do it this way around. And I'll put the command in the description below. So this is the flat pack command. And we want to open up console, which is under the system menu, and then paste in that command. If you're using the Steam Deck controller, you'll need to open up the keyboard and hit enter. If you're using an external keyboard, it's much simpler. Once that's done, we can go back to Steam and open up the Microsoft Edge properties. Make sure compatibility mode is not selected and then rename this to Xbox Cloud Gaming or xCloud, whatever is easier. But if you are going to use Decky Loader a little bit later, then set this to Xbox Cloud Gaming for ease. Once that's set, you can now switch back to game mode by hitting log out from the start menu. If you are using Decky Loader, then make sure you have this Steam Grid DB plugin. If you don't know about Decky Loader, I'll leave a link in the description below, then you can really level up your Steam Deck and make this step a lot easier. There is a manual step to set these, but having Steam Grid DB makes life so much easier. Once you have that, you can just go into change artwork under properties. And if you did call it Xbox Cloud Gaming, it will preload all of the different icons and you can just set the capsule, wide capsule and hero options that you like the look of the most here. And then you can start up and log in. Once logged in, you want to go up to the Xbox icon and go down to settings. And then on the left hand menu down to input and then change the mapping of the keyboard shortcut to whatever button you desire. I've just used N here for ease. And then in the controller mappings for Xbox Cloud Gaming, so go to controller settings, edit layout, and then map one of the rear buttons I've chosen R4 here, and set that to the command that you change it to, so N in my case. Now, when you're in game, you'll be able to access the Xbox menu on Xbox Cloud Gaming without having to fiddle around with other options. So you can get to all of the options like quitting the game, going back to the Xbox Cloud top level or accessing things like the chat features and friends. In case you missed it at the start, Xbox Cloud Gaming has now also released the ability to run your own games that are not on Game Pass currently, but you will still need a Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Currently they support around 50 titles and the Ubisoft titles has been confirmed thanks to Game Tech Planet that if you have the multi-platform subscription for Ubisoft Plus, they do show up on this list as purchased as well. So you can filter to just purchase. I've only got a couple of purchased games on Xbox as I do generally play Game Pass games and they do work perfectly fine. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into Xbox Cloud Gaming and what games you've been playing. Thanks for watching. 
and see you in the next one.